Broiler feeding process aims at making sure that the bird being raised for meat attains the desired weight at the time of the slaughter. To attain this, the correct feeding program or sh schedule must be followed day by day, week by week, uh, until the bird is sold off. That is why in today's video, I will be discussing the broiler feeding program, the broiler lighting program. And make sure that you watch the whole video because I'll also be telling you the right way to do the feed changeover. The feed changeover is how to change the feeds for your broilers as they grow from chicks to growers and also as they transfer uh, from growers into finisher stage. Therefore, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell and notification so that you can be notified whenever we post a new video also consider hitting that like button because that is very helpful for the youtube algorithm broilers are sold according to weight and the price is set by the market dynamics uh, of demand and supply therefore failure to achieve uh, the desired weight will attract losses because it means you're going to keep the birds for a longer time in the farm uh, for an extra cost that the market will not make up for to help you avoid this problem here is the broiler feeding program broiler feeding program is divided into three phases that is the broiler starter phase and uh, that is from day zero to day 10 also there is the broiler growth phase that is from day 11 to day 25 and also finally there is a uh, broiler finisher phase that is from day 26 to day 42 or even longer in broiler starter that is from for, from day one or from day 0 to day 10, the broiler chicks must feed on a diet containing maximum quality proteins and, and, and energy sources. The crude protein level should be 21 to 22%. The metabolizable energy, this is the energy used above by the chicks, should be 300 kilocalories per kg and the crude fiber should be 4 to 5%. The reason to why the crude fiber is this low is because chicks cannot be able to digest fiber. In the broiler grower feeds, that is from day 11 to day 25, the feeds should contain our accrued protein of 19 to 20%. The metabolizable energy should be of 3050 uh, kilocalories per kg and the crude fiber now will increase up to 7 to 8 percent in the finisher feeds for the broilers uh, that is from day 26 to day 42 or longer uh, the feed should contain the a metabolizable energy of 3100 to 3200 kilocalories per kg and the crude protein uh, should be of 18 to 19 percent in the finisher uh, stage, the finisher feed should con should always contain high energy and lower proteins. And now let me discuss the, the breeder feeding chart, the growth chart and also the weight chart. This is because feeding, growth and weight go hand in hand. In this chart, you are going to learn five things. Number one, you are going to, to learn the quantity of feed a breeder should, fe uh, should feed before reaching the market weight. Number two, you are going to know the total quantity of feed required uh, to feed a broiler per week. You're also going to know the total quantity of feed consumed by a broiler per week. Uh, also, for three, you are going to know the broiler growth rate and uh, finally you are going to know the average weight of a broiler in each and every week. This is going to help you to monitor how your broiler are feeding, how they are growing and the weight they are gaining in each and every week. Uh, as you can see here on the table, we have uh, the title which is expected broiler weight per week and the feed consumption table. Uh, so in the first column, uh, this column you can see there is the age in weeks, there is also the next column says there is the feed consumed per bud. Uh, there is also the cumulative feed consumed in kg and the average body weight per bud that is in kg. And the, uh, the last column uh, is the one that contains the average body weight gain per bud that is also in kgs. So in week one, you see that each broiler bud that is the chick will uh, consume 0 0.167 kg of feeds. Uh, uh, the cumulative feed consumed in that week should also be 0. Uh, 0.167 the average bo body weight per that but at the end of the first week uh, should be around 0 0.1885 and the average body weight gain uh, will be 0. 185 also so if you follow this uh, table then you can be able to know the amount that you're going to feed 
your broilers in each and every week and if you have a hundred broilers uh, broiler chicks then you are going if it's for week two you are going to take this figure then you multiply by the number of chicks uh, that you have in your farm and that will happen in week three week four week five all the way up to week six if you may want to continue uh, more than week six then you you we have already provided uh, the feed that you can give uh, in week seven week eight and week nine and uh, of which also you can be able to monitor the bird the average body weight per bird that is in every week you can be able to know uh, the weight your broiler bird should be having in each and every week also for that matter this end column will help you to know the rate at which your broilers are gaining weight and you can be able to know the 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 weight that your birds will have at week six by after recording the the weight for week one recording the week the weight for week two and week three you can be able to predict and see if your broilers will have attained the desired weight that you are targeting at the end of this week of six weeks seven or eight or, or nine weeks and this is this helps you to plan uh, beforehand and correct any measures that you may want to correct uh, before the bird uh, reaches the six weeks maybe you can uh, change the feed supplier maybe because you doubt if the feeds uh, have the required nutrients uh, or you can change any maintenance practices that you may see that is affecting the growth rate of your broilers if you study this uh, table very carefully you will learn for uh, you will learn four or five things uh, you will learn actually four things number one is that you will be able to know uh, that a broiler will consume uh, approximately 1.2 kg of feed from week one to week three that is the broiler starter plus the broiler grower uh, combined uh, you will be able also to see that a broiler will weigh about 1.5 kg at the end of week four you will also notice that uh, the uh, a broiler chicken will eat about 8.6 kg of feed uh, that is the broiler finisher uh, from week four to week nine and uh, finally you are going also to see that a broiler will have an average body weight of 4.65 kg at the end of week nine not better that this standard chart is only meant for guidance purposes for you and now let me discuss about the broiler lighting program uh, the broilers will need some time to rest at night for optimum growth and for their general welfare at this period the lights should be switched off and in this lighting program chart uh, as you can see on my screen is that you can see on the first column we have the day and uh, on the other hand we have the hours of darkness this is the hours that you should switch off the lights this will reduce stress and this helps a lot to boost the growth rate so from day zero to day four uh, you should make sure that there's three to four hours of uh, of darkness whereby the lights have been switched off and in day five uh, make sure that uh, there is four hours of darkness in day six make sure also there is four hours of darkness and uh, from day seven to day 21 you can see the number of hours increases up to six this is because this is where uh, most of the growth takes place and they also need to have some quite enough time to rest and, and also there is from day 22 to day 28 and here the broilers must stay in four hours of darkness and uh, from day 29 up to the day that you're going to sell your broiler for slaughter make sure that in each day they have at least uh, one hour of darkness and i had promised you that i am going to give you a way of which or a program that you can use uh, when you are going to change over the feeds now here is the way you are going to undergo uh, the gradual introduction of feeds to the broilers as they move from then from one stage to the next uh, based on the broiler feeding program that is the transition of feeds from starter mash to grower mash uh, should go like this so from on day nine you are going to mix 75 percent of starter mash with 25 percent of the grower uh, grower mash and you are going to give it to the broilers on day 10 you are going to mix 50 percent of the starter mash and the 50 and 50 percent of the grower mash and now you are going to feed this mixture to the broiler buds on day 11 you are going to mix 25 percent of the starter mash with 75 percent of grower mash and feed to your buds on day 12 
you are going to give the growers a hundred percent grower mash and this hundred percent grower mash is the one that you are going now to feed uh, the the broilers throughout the grower stage and this way you now you will have gradually changed the feed from the broiler uh, broiler starter mash to the grower uh, to the broiler grower mash and this will promote good growth rate by reducing stress which occurs after uh, due to the abrupt change of feeds uh, when it comes to transition from the growers the grower stage to the finisher stage these similar percentages will also be used on day 24 you are going to mix uh, 75 percent of the grower mash with 25 percent of the finisher mash and give it to your birds on day 25 you're going to mix 50 percent of the grower mash uh, with uh, the 50 percent of the finisher mash and you're going to uh, feed to the birds on day 26 you're going to mix 25 percent of the grower mash with 75 percent of the finisher feeds and also now you are going to feed this mixture to your broilers and uh, finally on day 27 you are going to feed a hundred percent of finisher feeds to the birds and this now is the ratio this is now the finisher feed is the one now you are going to continue feeding your broilers until they leave the farm if you're not keenly all these programs that I have given you is because a good broiler farmer kept good records and therefore make sure that you click the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to learn all about how to keep good poultry farm records that will help you in making profitable and good decisions in future in your farm